Om Shanti. Good morning. Today is your 125th day of your meditative blessing. And in today's blessing, we're going to explore, is it possible to be happy while staying with your family? Family means your own people. It could be your own friends. It could be your workplace. It could be everything. The whole world is actually your family. But let's see what does Baba have to say today? And how do we stay in the family with the right attitude so that we can move towards liberation and liberation in life? That's what everybody's looking towards. And liberation doesn't mean that you have to leave your body and only then you get liberated. God says liberation means liberation from sadness, from ego, from jealousy, from any other impurity which we have and which we exhibit throughout our day on a daily basis. So let's see what Baba has to say today. So Baba says... constantly powerful and make your household a means for making progress with your elevated attitude. Some of us we complain, I wish I didn't have so much of responsibility in my house. I wish my children were okay. I wish they were settled. I wish my family was a better place. I wish I was in a right place. I wish my husband had a different job or a different business. Or we even complain about, I wish my health was better. Or, I wish this place would provide me good conditions for living and we have so many different complaints about the weather also i wish i was in a cooler place i wish i had ac in my house then i could have meditated better so god says that these are all impurities because they make us weak and these complaints are a sign of impurity in the soul because that shows that we don't have the power to face or power to accept or the power to tolerate things and that is a lack of power in the soul Obviously, that means there is powerlessness and there is impurity. So let's understand in details. Baba says, in a household, you first of all either become pure or impure with your attitude. You can stay in your house and you can still create a lot of mess in your house. Mess, I'm not talking about physical mess. If your mind is not messy, automatically your house remains clean. This is I'm talking about that you can create a mess by manipulating things. There's always a power struggle in the house also. Who's wiser, who's smarter, who is right and who can put everybody right. And that is where the whole problem lies. So God says in a household, you first of all either become pure or impure with your attitude. If you always connect your attitude to the one father, if you belong to the one father and none other, imagine if you belong just to one father and nobody else, then do you deserve or need or want or desire anything from anybody in your family member? anything from any of them do you need anything do you need their approval do you need them to praise you do you need them to always say yes boss you're right or yes mom or yes dad or yes brother or yes sister you're always right or are you the one who's looking and seeking for wisdom from physical beings instead of the supreme being the incorporeal being if only one father is there then nobody else doesn't mean that you forget everybody in your family it means that you look for wisdom from God, you look for guidance from God, you meditate on Him, you love Him and you avoid falling in love of any attraction or any form of ways in which you can actually be dependent on anybody else in your life. And that's what God wants us to do. He says, remove your dependency on people. Make all your dependency only on me. Only then can you become wiser and you can guide and help people. So God is asking us that. That if you belong to the one father and none other, then your attitude will be right. Then he says, if you have such an elevated attitude, your household will then become a means for progress. That means you have purity. You're not manipulating people around in your family to have the highest position or to feel powerful enough. God says because you need that approval only from me and nobody in your family so you will automatically not do any form of manipulation there won't be any power struggle in the household also there won't be any power struggle about who's right and who's wrong in the household because that's a sign of ego and a lack of peace in a soul then God says if you have such an attitude elevated attitude your household will then become a means of making progress if your attitude is elevated it cannot then become mischievous. You won't have any kind of mischievousness in, within you. There won't be any power struggle. 
there won't be any ego clashes within the house because you don't need to be proved right and everything will fall in place and you'll see that god has designed every soul in its own different specific manner and each soul has got a different way of thinking and you let them be the way they are and god says while progressing with such an elevated attitude you will easily receive liberation and salvation we get entangled with people with family members because we try to change them try to correct them try to bring them into the right and we think that that is the right from our perspective but god says every soul is an individual and going through an experience and has got many experiences of previous birth we might think that is right for them from our perspective but it might not be we might to try to prove them right and we might take try to take everybody into confidence and put them down and tell them see i was right but god says that's not the method you focus on yourself and you focus on god only that's the only method for liberation and not to get entangled into any kind of relation and that's how we attain liberation and salvation and we become very free while staying within the family also all complaints will then be completed that means you'll become complete as a soul you won't have any complaint towards anybody you won't complain about the weather you won't complain about the people around you you won't complain about their methods you won't complain about their thinking patterns or their intellect and that you'll feel egoistically wiser than them and all those complaints will finish and you'll realize the truth so i leave you with this beautiful vardan think about it in details revise it meditate on it contemplate about it and have a blessed day stay safe om shanti